hey, it's Ethan with Comtech. So we get asked often, if I'm setting up MFA or multi-factor authentication, what's the, what, what does Comtech recommend? What tips do you have for the best way to set it up? Is there anything I need to uh, be wary of because there's a lot of different options? So I wanted to create this video to go over that. The first thing is I'm gonna refer to this uh, as MFA, which is multi-factor authentication. The easiest example I can give you um, is if, well, read the definition really quick. It's just simply you have to present two or more pieces of evidence to log in to something. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the, the easiest example here is Facebook, something like that. You go to log into Facebook, you use your username and password. That is considered one piece of evidence, quote unquote. Um, and then maybe it sends you a text message on your cell phone and you have to provide a second factor. You have to provide a second method to authenticate who you are. Um, so that's what MFA is. So with the different options on how you can set up MFA, which I highly recommend you set up MFA on anything that you can, uh, because this is a way to prevent someone from accessing your accounts, whether it's social media or your bank account or credit card, whatever it may be. Um, if you have multiple factors, multiple times you have to say, hey, this is me before you can log in, it's very beneficial. So here's the way that we recommend you set these up. Um, so you have your username and password. Obviously, that's it's got to be a good password. But once you set that up, our first recommendation is if you can, if there is a method, let's, I'm gonna use Facebook in this example because it's the easiest. So if you're logging in with Facebook, if there is an example or if there's a way to use a authenticator app on your phone um, where you, the only way to get into that authenticator app is with a biometric, which is either it's gonna do a facial scan or a fingerprint, something like that, that is by far the best method as of right now, which is May of 2024, you that's the best method. So set that up first. If you can't do an app with a biometric, the second one is a phone call. The, the old fashioned phone call, put your number in, make it call your cell phone. Um, so that's the next method. Now, the next one is SMS or text. Um, so you'll notice here the order that I'm going in is what Comtech recommends. I, rec I recognize that it's not always the easiest. Um, a lot of people I see take the text and they move it to the top just because it's simple, um, but that's not what I recommend for security purposes. I'm not gonna go into the back end of that, uh, but it's just, it's easier to, to move text around versus phone calls. So app with biometric, then phone call, then text, and if you can't do any of those, because there's some systems where none of these are an option, um, then you could set it up with email. Um, so that is your final option. Um, again, this is the last one recommended. Uh, always go with the, the first one first. Now, one other thing I wanted to add here before I end this video is I always recommend this tip because it's just a good thing to think about. So the multi-device is always better. When we're talking about multi-factor authentication, ideally what we want to do, and I've got a I've got a good option or a good example here. So let's say you're logging into Facebook on your computer. Well, let's say you maybe didn't listen to me and you set it up with the, the option that I talked about earlier, which is email. Well, if you're logging in on your computer and then you have to go get a code from your email and you open up your email application, let's say it's Outlook, on that same computer, then you're doing this first option. Um, so it's, it's not the end of the world, but it's not great. The second option, which is preferred, is you're logging into Facebook on your computer. What you wanna do is set it up to where you have to have a totally separate device. So maybe it's a cell phone and it's a text message or an app with the biometric, something like that where it's two totally different devices. The reason for that is in this first example, and I know I'm getting a little bit into the nitty gritty here, but in the first example, let's theoretically, let's say that a hacker was able to get remote control over your machine. If you have it set up this way, the hacker could open up Facebook, log in, 
flip over to your Outlook or your web application, use the code and get right in. Over here, the hacker gets into your machine, tries to log into Facebook, it sends you a text, which you pull your cell phone out of your pocket, maybe you're at home, you're walking the dog, whatever it may be, you pull that cell phone out and you say, hey, I don't know why Facebook's texting me. It's, you know, it's two, de two different devices. It's just a, it's a good security mindset or something to think about as you're, um, as you're setting up MFA. Now, talking about MFA, if you wanna get into anything deeper on this, um, we do have a two hour training session where we'll actually come to your office uh, and train your staff on how to become cyber heroes. We cover MFA, how to identify email threats. Um, uh, we talk about if, you're, if you were to get hacked, what to do. There's just lots of good stuff in here. If you're interested in that, go to the link below. There'll be a link in the description as well. We'd love to talk with you. If you have any questions, comment below or you know where to find us. Have a great day.